It's a download of this energy, but sometimes it's an active conversation. Yeah. It was almost like this overpowering, like I was, I, it was like I was spinning, and almost like ancient tongue. Uh, when I started wearing the meteorite, um, I think it was the first time ever that I, I started channeling light language. Um, when so. you're doing light language, you're channeling frequency. And so my understanding is it might not always be like... Um, super cognitive like you might get a clear message but also you're channeling energy so does sometimes like when what you're feeling you're just getting you're downloading a feeling more than a thought or is it sometimes like a combination or also sometimes you get like a super clear message like what are you experiencing when you're downloading well, it's like a download of, of this it, energy right it's a download of this energy, but sometimes it's an act of conversation. And it's very interesting. When it first happened to me, I mean, I didn't really understand. It was almost like this overpowering, like I was, I, it was like I was spinning. And then it was almost like this, like, like just stuff was coming out. And then I wasn't really sure what the heck was happening, but it was more of a vibrational. And that I would say was more of a download. Mm -hmm. And the sounds and the tones that I was saying were probably doing some type of healing residence on my body, right? Yeah. And then I've had the feeling and the um, sensation and the experience of, of the same type of thing, but where it's almost like ancient tongue and it is a feeling of a back and forth conversation where I'm getting images or ideas pop in my head as I'm communicating back this this interesting tongue so wow so I'm gonna both. ask yeah like um the type of consciousness or the type of ideas, the type of frequency. I know you said healing, but, and it's interesting. It's almost like crop circles, like the idea that um, it's a frequency, it's a design which carries frequency, right? Sacred geometry. So that's just putting the energy here into earth, whether there was ever a conversation or a cognitive, it was, it's not necessarily always a cognitive process, right? Yeah. It's just a frequency that gets anchored here and then begins to do its work. But I'm curious like how a lay person, because I don't talk to ETs yet. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, like how would somebody understand what kind of information, you know? Okay, so on saying, <laughs> so on the, on the healing aspect, uh, think of it as like vocal toning, or if anybody's mm -hmm. ever sat in on a sound bath or had. Um, been to a music performance or something where that music and that vibration just changes their energy field. There's something super powerful about the frequency of sound. You and enjoying so this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. And so on that doing and and holding different pitches at ways that I couldn't do on a conscious level. Um, I mean, I'm sure with training, but I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. So that had an, an immediate effect of feeling certain vibrational channel shift in my body. Now that is that. On the other aspect, um, really kind of crazy messages of more larger picture items. And so what do I mean by that with communication? Uh, less concerned with your daily, uh, daily life of the tasks and the responsibilities that you have in a daily life and more along the lines of bigger picture type of path, life purpose, consciousness, world issues, those kind of things. The collective. Yeah, that that's more the the type of conversation and awareness. Uh, I would put it very similar for those that are watching that if you've ever done ayahuasca and that, oh, well, I mean, there's some people that do ayahuasca and they ask about very specific things in their life or they go back to their traumas. But if you could, if you use ayahuasca to its best 
uh, capacity, you will get information about how you can ask it any question. So you can, you can ask it about your particular love, or you can ask it about what is love for the universe and what is what is the human experience of love. Like they're very different questions, and you're going to get very different answers. And so I, I always say the the quality of the information always depends on the quality of your questions. Uh huh. And and so when I went into and I was pl- practicing with this, I went in with intentions of questions to ask with information to be downloaded, you know, like so in, in yeah. meditations and stuff like that. So um, I think it would be different for different people. And I think that there would be yeah. information, um, but higher levels of perspective. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.